My name is George Rue. I'm with YLogic, and this is a training video on the Grandstream 2130 IP phone system. We'll be covering the keys on the phone as well as some of the features that this phone system has to offer. So let's get started. Okay, the first button we're going to talk about here is retrieving voicemails that are left on your phone. If you see here, there's a blinking red light, which indicates there's a message on this phone. So to retrieve that message, we're going to press this first button here. Now, since there's two accounts programmed on this phone, the first one's highlighted in yellow. I'm going to select that with this menu button here. Please enter your PIN. Now, the auto attendant is asking for a PIN. There's a unique PIN for every phone. This one is 9327. So I'm going to dial 9327. You have one new message. Press one for new messages. First message received at 4.13 p.m. Message from phone number 154. Leaving a test message on the Grand Stream 2130 phone for the video. Message deleted. Okay. No more messages. To delete Press that message. Three for advanced options. Press 5 to repeat. To delete that message, you press 7, that clears the message off the phone. Okay, next we're going to talk about the local phone book. This is where you can put contacts in and then be able to select those in speed dial. And that's this button here. It looks like an open book. I'm going to press that button, and what pops up on the screen is highlighted local phone book. I'm going to use the menu button here to select that local phone book. Now the first thing you see in the box at the top is a search. So if you already have a number of contacts in here, and you rather than scrolling to find that one, you can put a name in here and then select search and it'll find that contact for you so that you can dial it. If you're adding new ones, I'm going to press this button here which says new. And now you can see here you can type in the name, first and last name using this down arrow. I'll scroll down until I get to the work, that's where we put in the phone number with no dashes. Simply using the dial pad, you'll put in the phone number. Once finished, right above this key here, you'll see save. You press that to save that contact. You can add as many as you need to in here by following these instructions. To put a call on hold, we have an inbound call ringing the phone, we simply pick up the handset and we press this button here. It looks like a pause button. You can see the call is on hold. It's blinking here at the top of the screen. To pick the call up, we simply pick up the handset and press this button here at the top and you've got the call. To transfer a call, if we have an inbound call, we can pick up the handset to transfer it, we're going to press this button here. It looks like two phones side by side. Okay, the caller hears music. You'll hear dial tone. You simply dial the extension. And then right above this button here, it says blind transfer. So I'm going to press that button. And the call is now transferred to the other number. Okay, next we're going to talk about a conference call. So if you're on a call with someone, and you wish to bring a third person into the call, uh, we simply use this button here, which is the conference button. While you're talking to that person, you press this button. The person you're talking to hears the music, you hear a dial tone. You'll dial the extension of the other person, and this time you'll wait for them to answer. And when they do, you press this button again, and now you have all three people on the call at the same time. The next key is a headset key. Uh, it's located here on the phone. Uh, this is for some of the older headsets that plug into the back of the phone. There's a port on the back of the phone to plug it in. Once you plug the headset in, you simply press this button, turns green, and the headset goes live. However, these phones are all Bluetooth compatible. If you've paired a Bluetooth device with your cell phone, that same type of device can be paired with this phone. Much easier to use 
Uh, you can get up and walk around with those just like you would with a cell phone. We have a lot of our customers that like those, gives them the freedom to, to move around while talking. A call comes in, you press the button on the, on the device and you're listening to the caller. Okay, the next button we're gonna talk about is the do not disturb button. So if you're in your office in a meeting and you don't want to be disturbed, you can press this button and all calls coming to your phone will go to your voicemail. I'm gonna press the button here. You can see in the center of the screen, it says do not disturb, big red button. So that, that lets you know that the phone is set to uh, go straight to voicemail. I'm gonna go ahead and make a call to this phone. So the auto attendant will tell the caller that you're currently on the phone and to leave a message at the tone. And then when you finish with your meeting, you simply press the button again and that clears the do not disturb button. Okay, now I'm going to go down to what we call the multi-purpose keys. Here is where we can park a call and be able to pick that call up from any phone. It's equivalent to putting a call on hold with some of the older phone systems such as the Meridian. It's very visible with these phones. I'm going to call this phone and when I take the call, this time I'm going to park the call simply by pressing this button here. Now you can see that call is parked and it shows up on the first parking spot here, red. Now if another call comes in before someone picks this call up, the system will automatically send it to the second parking spot simply by pressing the park button again and so forth. If you have multiple parking spots, you can park as many calls as, as necessary. Uh, the system is set to keep that call parked there and you can, it's visible on all the other phones. All the other phones will have the same multi-purpose keys programmed and they'll be able to see this park call on any phone. So you can park the call and call that person or page that person and tell them they have a call parked at 701, then they can pick that call up simply by picking up the phone, pressing that button, and now they have the call. The system is also set, if no one picks that call up after 45 seconds, it will ring back to the phone that parked it. That way you don't leave the person on hold for a long period of time. We can extend that park time to whatever the customer desires. Uh, and the other features that are available on the larger phones gives that person, let's say it's a front desk person, a, a receptionist, gives that person the ability to, for example, transfer a live call directly to voicemail for someone else in the office. Also, we can set up intercom between these phones. So a receptionist could take a call, park it, intercom the other person in the office the call is meant for, and let them know they, they have a call parked and they can simply press the red button and they have the call. So that's basically some of the key features with the multi-purpose keys. Next, I wanna go over to these buttons here. We have the volume button here. That's the volume for the ring, uh, ring volume. If you press this, you can increase the ring volume or decrease the ring volume. And if you're talking with somebody on the phone, you can use this bar to increase the uh, volume for the call as you're talking to the person or decrease it. Okay, the next two buttons underneath, you have the green, looks like a green handset. That button is used when you dial an internal call. Uh, let's say it's a three-digit call. If you dial, uh, for example, uh, 111, for an extension within your office, the phone is waiting for you to dial a full 10 digit number. So to send that call faster, just hit this button here and it sends the call immediately. So this is called a send button. Again, it's the phone with a green handset. Okay, the button just to the other side of that looks like a red speaker. That's a hands-free button. So if a call comes in, let's call that phone. Instead of picking up the handset, you can simply hit hit this and now you're talking to that person hands-free, uh, which is kind of handy if you're busy doing something. 
Okay, next I want to talk about these buttons underneath the screen. These are called soft keys because the name above those will change depending on what mode the phone is in. Right now, there's no calls up. Above this button here, it says history. That basically is a, a listing of all the calls that come to this phone. Uh, and uh, you can scroll using this button down. If you see a call come in from someone that they didn't leave you a message, you can simply scroll down. When you highlight that with a the yellow, then you can press the dial button and call that person back. Uh, let me go back to the front screen. Now here, if you have a, have a little red square next to the history, that tells you a call came to this phone and it rang, but the call may have been picked up on another phone if this is in a ring group. That says the call was missed on this phone. Again, you, you select that button to see what calls came to that phone. You have the ability to call them back if you wish to. The next one we're going to talk about is a forward all. If you wish to forward all your calls from your desk phone, let's say to your cell phone, if you're expecting a call and you don't want to miss it, you can do so by pressing this button here, which it says forward all right above it, and you dial the extension, and then right above this button now it says OK. So as soon as I press that, now all calls coming to this phone will be forwarded to the number that you put in here. When you get back, you want to go ahead and press this button again to clear that forward. Now your phone will continue to ring when calls come in to this phone. Okay, next we're going to talk about the redial button here. Any Anytime you make an outbound call with this phone and you decide you want to call that number again, if it was the last number you called, you simply press this button and it'll redial the last number that you dialed. Thank you for watching this training video. Please like and subscribe to receive new training videos on the GrandStream IP phone system. Please hit the bell icon to be notified when new videos are uploaded. From all of us at Ylogic, we hope you have a great day and we'll see you in the next training video.